Welcome, family of God. Welcome to the Lifestyle of Faith and Power broadcast. My yes. name is Dr. Juan Williams, Sr. This is my wife, Tracy O. Williams. Mm, and we, as I say all the time, are elated and excited yes. about sharing the Word of God. Amen. Today, we're going to be discussing uh, the law of faith. Yes. But before we get started, let's pray. Awesome. So, Father, in the precious name of Jesus, we just thank you so very much once again for the opportunity to share the Word of God. We declare it blessed. We declare the word of God will go forth unhindered and unchecked by any and all outside forces. We declare the gifts of the spirit will flow freely throughout this teaching, edifying the church and setting every captive free. We thank you in advance for the victory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Welcome, welcome, welcome. welcome. Mm -hmm. So today in our first lesson, the law of faith, and, and just as I say it, you know, here in our society today, there are particular laws that govern uh, our behavior, our conduct, that leads us to a, a, a social, uh, faithful, happy community. Mm -hmm. uh, we have laws to kind of govern man's uh, ability to be out of order or breaking laws to where there's complete chaos. Now, when it comes to the law of faith, mm -hmm. basically, it's dealing with the kingdom of God. The law of faith is dealing with God himself. There's ways that God has communicated with us that we bring these things into our life mm -hmm. and it's governed by faith. There's certain things that are going to happen, certain things that's going to take place based on what God has promised in his word and how do we have a balance? How do we keep it in order? Mm -hmm. So there is a law of faith. Faith is essential. If you recall in Romans 1 17, the father says, the just shall live by faith. If I'm living by faith, that means there's something kind of governing that particular area of my life, that relationship with God that is called faith. Mm -hmm. So it's very important to understand that there are things that will put you in right relationship with God, laws of faith, and there are things that will get you out of relationship with God, breaking the laws of faith. Mm -hmm. So this law is very important. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to read a verse that's found in Romans 3, 27. You can turn there, but I'm just going to discuss yes. this for a moment as it pertains to the law of faith. The apostle Paul was talking about uh, kind of like manufactured faith. He was talking about what is your boasting in? What are you boasting about? The mm -hmm. things that you're seeing happening in your life, what is your boast? Mm -hmm. Is it the uh, law or is your boast uh, about uh, about yourself, mm -hmm. uh, about what you do? Mm -hmm. uh, or is it uh, the law of faith? And he's kind of having that discussion. And we want to start there. Right. And that's Romans chapter 3 and verse 27. Mm -hmm. And it says, where is boasting then? Is it excluded? Is it boasting excluded by law? By law? By what is law? Right. Is it excluded as a result of that? Mm -hmm. Or is your boasting by law, the laws that you take, man-made behavior, the rituals that you take? Is it about that? And then he goes on and says, or of works, mm -hmm. not, no, but by the law of faith. He said, my boasting is not in, in just me boasting. It's not in my works. It's not in the law. All those things are excluded. He said, but it's by the law of faith. Mm -hmm. So we are God's people. And he says in Romans 117, the just shall live by faith. Amen. So it's in my, it's, it is to my advantage to learn what laws that govern faith and what laws that uh, violate faith. Yes, amen. And so uh, that's where we're going to start. We're going to start there, understanding that there are particular principles, regulations that govern this whole relationship that I have with God, mm -hmm. which is called the law of faith. Amen, amen. Mm -hmm. And so now uh, the first thing I want to do is take a look at this. Faith is a relationship with God. I'm going to say it a couple of times. The pure essence of faith, and you've heard me over time say that because people have gotten to the place of just misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. They're talking about a principle or a law, and they say that's mm -hmm. faith. Well, that's how faith works. That's how you release it. It's like water in the faucet. If you open up the tap, the, the tap mm -hmm. water will flow out. Mm -hmm. If you make a confession according to what God has promised, that's releasing my faith. Mm -hmm. But the true essence of my faith is relationship with God. Mm -hmm. God created the universe and God thought about us and made promises to us before time began. Amen. And so the mm -hmm. essence of where your faith is going to work consistently, no matter what the circumstances is, how difficult it might be. Remember, faith is supernatural. Right. And so God wants us 
first to have this relationship so the mm -hmm. laws of faith will work. That's powerful. I was just thinking about the laws of faith and how there's the world system and there's a God system. Right. And the more, you know, we just stay in faith, we'll operate and flow in God system where there's the blessing. Right. There's victory. You know, there's increase. There's you know, all the good things right, that right. God would have us to experience, but we want to stay in God's, God's system. system. And just as you say, the mm -hmm. system of God, note this mm -hmm. family, mm -hmm. uh, God said this, what man thinks are impossible. Yes. So that's man's system. But with God, mm -hmm. all things are possible. Mm -hmm. Now, what are we talking about? We're talking about man's natural ability and restraints mm -hmm. versus God's supernatural ability if we adhere to the laws of faith. Yes. We'll tap into that. Yes. And so even in that particular mm -hmm. verse, he's beginning to line up how these laws begin to work mm -hmm. so faith can mm -hmm. be released. God loves us. Mm -hmm. He said he'd never leave us or forsake us. Mm -hmm. And we know these things, but how do we get those things activated in our lives? I'm kind of ahead of myself. Mm -hmm. The blind men where Jesus said to them, according to your faith, let it be. Yes. According to your faith, you can now see. He touched mm -hmm. their eyes and their eyes were open. Mm -hmm. And so according to you living in this earth realm and living according to his promise. Note this in 3 John. He says this, mm -hmm. brethren, I pray that you prosper in all things. Mm -hmm. We can't make no excuses about that. He said, brother, I want you to prosper in all things, be in health even as your soul, soul prosper. prospers. Amen. That's Amen. the will of God. That's what he wants for us. Mm -hmm. So it's just now tapping into the word and staying and not denying it, not because I haven't been taught, go down the road and say, that's for some people, or it just accidentally happened. There's mm -hmm. nothing in this Bible that's an accident. Yes. It is for our purpose to benefit. Amen. Mm -hmm. And so in relationship, faith is, faith has these particular principles in order for faith to work. And just one, of, one principle that I want to mention mm -hmm. that actually, like the tap, the water in the tap, you turn it on and the water comes out, is confession. Confession is one of those particular laws. There's us. Mm -hmm. There's a whole government of laws that pertain, like life and death is in the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and we'll read here in Romans 4 and 17, you can turn there, where when there were things that were not manifested or wasn't currently mm -hmm. in his tangible hand mm -hmm. with Abraham, he believed God based on what beyond what he seen and didn't see. Right. And he was able to call those things, using the confession now, mm -hmm. call those things that did not exist as though they did. Mm -hmm. Now that works 24 hours a day for every believer. Mm -hmm. It works. Mm -hmm. Well, I, did, I said it, but I didn't see anything. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to hold fast your confession and stay with it. Amen. Uh, there are some other factors that you grow up in and mm -hmm. that, that, uh, that will govern seeing the manifestation right then. Even if you don't see it, you know you have it based on what you say, because we know that God's word is true, absolutely true. He's not a man to lie, nor is he slack in his promises. Yes, so we, we have this kind of attitude. Romans uh, 4.17, 4, and, and over here in Romans 4.17, what we want to say is this, that this relationship of faith that we, you and I have with God, mm -hmm. as he says, the just shall live by faith. Uh, and he says, if you draw an eye to me, I'll draw an eye to you. He's mm -hmm. prescribing relational things. That's what that true essence of faith is. It's a relationship with God who created the universe. Yes. So here, hey, when you don't see it, what do, I, what do I do? I walk in that law, that principle mm -hmm. of confession. And so here, Romans uh, 4.17, as it is written, I've made you the father of many nations in the presence of him who he believe God who give life to the dead and call those things which not do not exist as though they did. So he's, yes. he's saying I'm healed even mm -hmm. though you have a symptom. Uh, you're saying that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me when my, my mind is being bombarded with lies from the enemy mm -hmm. and natural life mm -hmm. circumstances is mounted up like a wall against me. I still call those things that do not exist as though they already did. Right. That is a principle and that is a law of faith. Because all kinds of things can happen in a day that'll try to back you down from what you Ooh, believe in. Yes. You know, where you'll see all kinds of things taking place where you're like, okay, 
you know, should I still believe God? Yes, you should still believe God because it's a relationship. When you're in faith, you're believing God, you're in a relationship. Abraham had a relationship with, with God. God. Right. So he believed God and he would not back down. He would not back down from using his faith and from believing what God's word says. And that's what we have to do. What God's word to says. Stay in faith and just keep believing God no matter what we see. Because what we see can change. Right. What, what we see is temporary. But their relationship is powerful, powerful with God. Amen. Hey, absolutely. Their relationship. Right, That's right, it. right. And, and so, and so, and so, in verse eighteen, Miss mm -hmm. Tracy's going to read that. But remember, yes. he called those things that do not exist as though they already did. Right. And when it used the word, who is contrary to hope, and and like even irregardless, mm -hmm. irregardless if there's hope or not, I'm still hoping. Mm -hmm. uh, I use my faith. Tied to what my future look back. Now, hope is the future. Faith is now. Mm -hmm. So contrary to hope, he still hoped. Mm -hmm. And what did he do with hope? He tied faith to hope. Mm -hmm. Hope is the fish in the sea. Faith is the word I confess. Throw the, look, the hook and the sinker, the line, mm -hmm. and catch and bring into manifestation mm -hmm. those things that are not already there. Wow. So faith and hope work together. Mm -hmm. uh, Hope is your future based on the things that are not currently here. Because if they're here, you don't need to hope for it. You're not hoping for something that you got. You're hoping for things mm -hmm. to take you to another level and things that God has promised in his word. Mm -hmm. Faith is the the uh, ingredients to bring hope into manifestation. That's powerful. That's powerful. So we're still in Romans 4 and 17 and verse 18. Verse 18 says, who contrary to hope and hope believe so that he became the father of many nations according to what was spoken, according to what was spoken. Mm -hmm. Amen. So faith is a law that governs the outcome of your life. Um, so there's an outcome that God already has for our lives. And the outcome is already written in, in the word. word of God. Right. Exactly what he says. First Peter 2, 24, that by the stripes of Jesus, we have already been healed. So we have a right. test of faith with our health or what have you. We have to continue to stand on that word because that's the outcome. The outcome is that you are already healed. And no matter what we could go through or what situation we could face, we have to stay in faith, stay in faith. Over in Matthew, uh, Matthew uh, chapter 9, Matthew chapter 9, uh, where uh, you already mentioned it about yeah. according to your faith, but we just want to look at that and confirm in the word of God is Matthew 9 and verse 27, Matthew 9 and 27. And it's talking about when the two blind men were healed and it was according to their faith. And so in verse 27, it says, when Jesus departed from there, two blind men followed him. They followed him. So that was the that was first an act, act, act of faith. faith. Yeah, you, you see several acts of faith in this verse. That's so the powerful. first thing is they knew where to get it. And yes. they knew Jesus was the source. Yeah. Uh, they had already heard about him in the region mm, and they followed him. Mm. And then the next thing. And they had to believe because they're blind. So they following him mm -hmm. being blind, but right. they knew it was something about right. Jesus. They <laughs> knew man. not that, but you know, mm -hmm. in that particular region, they had heard about it. Yes. And and their they faith coming by hearing. They had right. been hearing about it. They'd heard about it enough. And now they got Ooh, to a point man. where he's in the region close to them. Yes. They followed him. It was the anointing. They were drawn to that anointing. Mm -hmm. And so it says they followed him and then they cried out, saying, They cried out. So that's another Act, act of, of faith. faith. So we're talking they, about that and action. Said, Son of David. Son of David. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. That's another act of faith. Yeah. Have mercy, Father. Lord, heal Praise me, Lord. God, yeah. I thank you to take this bad attitude. Lord, help, right. help me, Lord, with my judgment on people. Because you, you know? look at them, they said, have mercy. Have mercy. Um, instead of just, you know, they knew that was like repentance. And that's what some people, you know, you just have wow. to repent first to really believe, you know, because sometimes people come to God and don't feel like they're worthy to be in his presence. But this was an act of faith, just them saying, you know, God or son of God, have mercy on us. So that was an act of repentance that opened up the door right there. Mm -hmm. And then in verse 28, it says, and when he had come into the house, the blind men came to him. I keep seeing the blind men followed him and they came to him and they're blind. Right. You know, but that's an act of faith. So they moving and making some things happen. Right. Right. They weren't just waiting on Jesus to come to them and said, Jesus, they said to them, Jesus said, do you believe that I am able to do this? 
and they, they said, said to him an yes. act of faith, yes, yes Lord. Lord. That was a confession. Praise God. Now, just remember, mm. in terms of confession, Ooh, a lot man. of people say, you know, God is able. What is the difference between you and I who walk by faith? Mm -hmm. One, there are people say, I believe God. But not only do we say we believe God, but we act on what we say. We act on what we believe. Right. I believe God will heal me. I start acting on what I believe. Right. And so what do you do? That's not just a one-time thing to fulfill a scripture. That's how you live every day. Mm -hmm. When he yeah. says to just you live by faith, every day I believe that I'm healed. Right. Every day I believe that I have already overcome. Every day I believe that... I have a great day. Every mm -hmm. day I know that 2020 is the year of plenty. Yes. I know that. So Amen. that is my attitude. Mm -hmm. Remember, attitude has a whole lot to do with outcome. Mm -hmm. Bad attitude, bad outcome. Yes. And so my attitude is not based on me. I got enough failure mm -hmm. in me mm -hmm. and experiential mm -hmm. to not even want to go any further. Right. right. But I have enough mm -hmm. success in seeing mm -hmm. this word of God being manifested mm -hmm. in my life. I want to go. Right. Because he's a good God. And how faith mm -hmm. is the essence of faith. I got a relationship with him, mm -hmm. and I know he loved me. He said he'd never leave us, nor will he forsake us. Right, right. It is his good pleasure to give us the kingdom. Right. And so mm -hmm. you can have Christianity and make it however you want it to be. Mm -hmm. But if we're going to be sincere about this, mm -hmm. God don't have no bad attitude towards us. He have a love attitude towards right, us. Right, right. And so he said to them, do you believe that I'm able to do this? And they said, yes, yes Lord. Lord. And so... Jesus wanted to make sure, first of all, that they wanted to be healed because sometimes, you know, people want to hold on to what they want to hold on to. And, make you know, crutch. even, yeah, even, you know, we can pray for people, but if they don't really want to let go of this or let go of that or let go of him or her or what have you, it'll still be present. But Jesus said, you know, do you believe I'm able to do this? And they said, yes, Lord. So he touched their eyes and he said, according to your faith, be it unto you, according to your, your faith. faith. He didn't say it's according powerful. to the power of God, according yes. to what I can do, but he mm -hmm. said according to your faith, according believing to in me, acting on what I believe, by following me, saying, yes, Lord. He said, according to your faith, let it be. Let it be. According to your faith. It was already done. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it was already done, and it had to just be according to their faith. But it's powerful because down on how they they actually said that they actually had to hear about the power of Jesus the anointing that was on Jesus so they heard from other people other people that got healed other people that were set free they heard that right they heard it they heard it even before yes. it, they heard about what he was doing right and so I'm saying all that to say now they're now they can see and so they go go about and they went about sharing with other people what right. Jesus had done. So that's why our faith is so important, because as we continue to witness how good God is and how God heals, how he's already provided, how he reconciles relationships, how he has brought peace to each and every one of us. It's a witness to so many other people to be able to want to follow Jesus, you right, know, right, right. and come to Jesus. It's, like, it's a witness. Like as you were saying, mm -hmm. prior to that, they had to hear because they weren't mm -hmm. following him just be on accident. Mm -hmm. If you're blind, you don't know nothing about him, but you had to hear about him. Yes. They had to hear about him. It's impossible for them to just stumble mm -hmm. up and say, this is the man to heal me. They'd heard about it. Right. Like it says in verse mm -hmm. 31, it says, but mm -hmm. when they departed, right. they uh, spread the news Jesus. about him yes. and all the that country, <laughs> and you all know, that country. And they, two God. dudes, two men yes. got to spread that good news about right. him and all that country. And they, so they were like, you know, I'll, I'll know all I know is I was blind and now I, I see. see. Yep, I was <laughs> absolutely blind. So he had two witnesses right there. But in First John five and four, it talks about um, if we're those who are born, born again, again. Yep. overcome, and this is how we overcome by our faith. Right, right. So if we already got the victory. Right, right. Mm -hmm. The minute you, you're born again, uh, what happens there, as it says in uh, St. John 3 and 7, Jesus is having an encounter with Nicodemus, mm -hmm. and he says to the man, you must be born again. Mm -hmm. See, he talks about a spiritual birth and a natural birth. Mm -hmm. Prior to us being born again, all of us have a natural birth mm -hmm. with a natural soul and a natural human spirit. Then, the scripture talks about being made alive or quickened into life when you, uh, as it says in Romans uh, 10 and 9, if a man will believe in his heart, confess with his mouth that Jesus is the son of God who died and rose, he will be born again. Mm -hmm. That's what Jesus was saying to Nicodemus. Nicodemus, bam, he believed him. And, mm -hmm. uh, and now the spirit life of God is now in him. Mm 
Right. Now he has the capabilities of faith to grow. When you're born again, you, now you, you don't have no more human spirit. You got the spirit of the living God. He yes. dwells in you. Amen. And now you have the ability to uh, adhere, to receive, and do everything that he's promised. Amen. Remember, mm -hmm. transition. You're not doing it mm -hmm. by your might, but by his ability in the spirit, according to the word of God. Yes. And so now that ability mm -hmm. is taken off mm -hmm. and you're rolling and you're moving forward. Wow. And, and, and as it says in first John, uh, five and four, anything that is born of God, anything that is born of God, that new spirit since you've been born again, yes. overcome the world by faith. By faith. He says, uh, he yeah. says that Let, let's go there. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. that's first John. So you born again, you steps in, you step into the potential. Let me just say this since I'm over there into Praise the potential. Mm -hmm. First of all, if you are born again, God, the father, uh, makes it clear to you. Romans chapter 12 and verse three, God has dealt to each one a measure of faith since you've been born again. He's mm -hmm. dealt to you. Mm -hmm. He gives you the spiritual potential to be able to now excel from little faith to great faith. Mm -hmm. Jesus mentioned that. Oh, he oh. said, he mentioned one time, oh, you have little faith. Mm -hmm. And he said to a, uh, another, I have not seen such great, great faith. faith. So the minute you're born again, you have the spiritual potential, putting yourself in a teaching environment mm -hmm. that now mm -hmm. that supernatural power of faith can begin to come alive and work. Yes. And it will work because this stuff is living oh, and is alive. So St. John uh, 3 and 7 says you must be born again. Mm -hmm. Romans 12 and 3 says he has dealt to each one a measure of faith. Mm -hmm. Romans 1 17 says the just shall live how? By mm -hmm. faith. So you see born again, dealt to you, live by it. Amen. And uh, that mm -hmm. is how we live every single day. Mm -hmm. There's no let down. Yes. So First John, let's just read that. Yeah. Because now, watch this. How do you deal with relatives, friends, neighbors, mm -hmm. society, mm -hmm. lack of finances, need more, mm -hmm. the kinds of things that go on in this earth realm? Mm -hmm. Deal with it by faith. by faith. Because our own natural ability, we can do a lot, mm -hmm. but it's not supernatural. Mm -hmm. It costs you. All of, trying to do this whole thing just on your own might, yes. it'll wear you down. Right. But there's a transition that takes place where mm -hmm. Not by my might or my power, but by his spirit. Amen. The moment you get over into faith, you got it over into the supernatural realm that gives your heavenly father mm -hmm. an opportunity to be God. Yes. Now here, oh, thank you. Romans, Romans 5 and 4. Or no, 1 John. 1 John, excuse me. 1 mm -hmm. John 5, 4. Know what it says. Uh, for whoever is born of God overcome the world. What is he talking about? He's talking about situations, circumstances, uh, right. all the kind of, of the test of faith and <laughs> oppressing spirits. Mm -hmm. And I, I think what my pastor say, all of these kinds of things mm -hmm. that can be conflict, that can alter your yeah. ability to lock in a God who died for you. Yes. Remember, he died for you. Yes. He died for you. Praise you God. are significant. Mm -hmm. You are born again. You're just not anybody. Mm -hmm. But you got to get to a place where you, with mm -hmm. total confidence, Know that God is God, not just by the sermon you heard, not just by motivation, but by the truth of the word. Yeah. God's word will never change. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Mm -hmm. He is an unchangeable God mm -hmm. who swore by his word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He swore by his word. And so he's not going to alter his word for no reason at all. Mm -hmm. He stand by his word. He swore by his word. His word is true. His truth has made you free. Yes. So it's note like this. A faith is simple. Faith is simple and it's clear with a relationship. You mm -hmm. know, if you mm -hmm. just have a relationship with God and mm -hmm. just believe God, you know, it's, you're going to use your faith because it's part faith. of your nature. You're going to use it. You don't have to try to do it. You don't have to try to be obedient. It's just going to come natural with a relationship with, with God, God, right? With a know? relationship with God. But if you're using mm -hmm. the faith just to get something, just to have something to be better than somebody else, mm -hmm. to prove that you're the only person on the face of this earth throughout time yes. and use your faith, you're the great I am. That's not <laughs> what it's all about. Mm -hmm. It's not all about that. It's about a relationship. If you're yes. on an, an isolated mm -hmm. island, just you and God mm -hmm. having a relationship with him, mm -hmm. God is going to always honor his word because right. he loves his children. Right. And so, uh, that's yeah. what that thing is all about. God loves us, mm -hmm. and he just wants to have a relationship with you. From that relationship proceeds faith. Yeah. You mm -hmm. can't see me. I'm in the third heaven, but I love you by my spirit, and I have shown myself mm -hmm. to you by my word, yes. and I will never leave you, nor will I forsake you. See how that goes? Mm -hmm. So it's just not the memorization of verses. Mm -hmm. 
you know, I think in the DNA of people, we always want to be negative about other people, mm -hmm. judge, criticize, and really don't know old, their motives. That's that old nature. That's that old nature. Yeah. We shouldn't be walking that old nature. There's a new nature God wants yes. for us. Now, note this. Yep. Just real quick, I just, people need to hear that God is real. You know, God is real. Yes, and until they really experience him, you know, he becomes real to other people when when they see these manifestations of healing, manifestations of prosperity is a manifestation, manifestation where relationships were broken and now they're, you know, mended. Um, hard to love situations are now lovable situations. People need to know that God is real and they know that God is real through the church, you know, through us. Um, so, yeah, that's where our faith comes in. Absolutely, absolutely. Excuse me, First John 5, 4. Amen. For whatever is born of God, overcome the world. Yes. All those things we mentioned. Mm -hmm. And this is the victory that overcome the world. He Praise concludes God. it by saying, mm -hmm. our, our faith. faith. And yes, who is Lord. he who is, uh, overcomes the world? But he who believes that Jesus, Jesus is, is the, the son, son of God. God. Bam. Is that powerful? That's it right there. <laughs> Jesus is the son of Jesus God. Jesus is the son he of God. He is the son of God. The two blind men said, son of God. Have Ooh. have mercy on us. Yeah, you they know, knew, have they mercy. Knew who to come to. Right, right. And they had heard mm -hmm. about it. And then yes. after they got their healing, they went all over the region right. sharing with people the power of God. Amen. And I want to say to you mm -hmm. right now, uh, whoever is listening, yes, God loves you. Yes. And all he wants to do is have a relationship with you. Mm -hmm. He is nothing you have that he hasn't already given you. Mm -hmm. There's no place you need to go that he can't take you. Mm -hmm. He is a God that loves you. And he wants to be able to dwell with you and you dwell with him. That's why mm -hmm. he says, if you abide in my word and my word abide in you, mm -hmm. then you shall be my disciples yes. indeed. indeed. Because mm -hmm. he straight loves us. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for yes. the time. I know we might have been kind of rushed and maybe, <laughs> I don't know, on that end, if, if I sound rushed, please forgive us. Yes. But we just want to mm -hmm. share this fire of passion that we have in our heart. Faith Amen. works. Amen. It's working it's in our lives every Jesus. day. I can just yeah. tell you again and again, there's not a day that go by mm -hmm. that I'm not seeing things that God is doing that I had nothing to do with. Right. That's other right. than me just living my faith. And you believe in, yep. And, and we believe and we you act on what God. we believe. Amen. And we love you. And we know that uh, mm -hmm. you're going to increase. Yes. This is the day for you to increase Amen. in every area of your life. Amen. Let's Amen. pray. All right. So, Father, in the precious name of Jesus, once again, we thank you for the victory. We thank you for your anointing upon the broadcast audience, that anointing that removes burdens and destroys yokes. We declare that anointing fresh right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the victory that each and every one of us already have. We receive by faith in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And we want you to remember, you, you shall, shall know, know the, the truth, truth and, and the, the truth will make, make you free. free. God bless you. The preceding program was brought to you by the Holy Spirit Broadcasting Network, HSBN Television.